Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. An interesting challenge. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. We accept. I'm organizing a discreet meeting with some like-minded friends to discuss trades unions. Alas, the police seem to have noticed my activities. They've stuck to me like flies on Shizong. In any case, I need you to help me get to the meeting without the interference of the police. Immediately. Let this be a lesson. You see? You know, I had similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne. Our next worthy ally awaits us in a nearby pub. Hmm. Onwards. No doubt the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear. They opened a new pie shop on Fleet Street. Oh. Brave move considering what happened in the last one. Just set me up.
One hour. Right you are, Mr. Mark, sir. There's a bloody murderer! Sir, I believe our work here is complete. Come, let's slip away and get to the meeting. I do appreciate your assistance in this matter. Only when workers are able to assemble freely and in strength will we be able to achieve the reforms we most assuredly deserve. Might I trouble you to stay nearby until the meeting is over? I fear we may yet meet with some mischief. It seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will you fetch the gentleman back here? I would look him in the eye and ask why he went back on his brethren. You are skilled operatives? Well, that may be true. Are you mad? You're making a big mistake. Let's go for a stroll. Bother to me. <laughs> Simon, my friend, what possessed you to do this? Thing? Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Mill Sea, any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please go. I thank you, my friend. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself. Poor friend Frank Morris. His son dropped dead of exhaustion after finishing an 18 hour shift. Frank is consumed by grief. He blames the government for refusing to protect the rights of the worker. I can't blame him for his rage, but I fear his actions have gone too far. He plans to steal a shipment of nitroglycerin and use it to attack the Houses of Parliament. Killing people and destroying property solves nothing. Democracy is the only road to socialism. Please, stop him before he gets himself or anyone else killed. I expect he's on his way into the city of London now. There you are. That must be the explosives. No sign of Mr. Morris yet, though. What 
Whoa! Who are you? A friend of Mr. Karl Marx. Now, please, oh. let me focus. You tell Marx I don't need his help, or yours! Go on. What do you expect me to do? Even a dog will fight if kicked yeah. too often. Come on! I don't like being told what to do. Blown up if you're not more careful. Turn right. Easy. Turn right. Slowly now. Slow down. Up there. Who are these people? Some very determined individuals. We're trapped in here unless you ascend and deal with them. They got the nitro back. That must please you. Not a bit. I doubt their designs on the explosives are any nobler than yours. Damn. Now I'll have to work out where they've taken it and why. I might be able to assist you. Find me in Southwark when you're ready. This one won't be... Corruption reigns here, I'm sure of it. The number of people injured by their machinery cannot be calculated, and yet the company continues to prosper. They must be stopped for the sake of the poor workers they abuse. If only we had some form of proof. There must be records of the accident somewhere inside, which would surely prove their malfeasance. I should think you'd need to find the foreman, but how you'd convince him to give you the reports? Perhaps, if they think the factory's on fire, you might bluff your way past. Why don't you know that? 
out of there before the fire takes them mother of god you're right follow me quickly They're moving the shipment, but we must go now. There's a carriage on the next corner. If we hide within, they'll drive us right to it. It's time you went home. I'll hide in the carriage alone. Home? Back to a cold and... I'll keep those ones alive until they take me to our destination. I'm sorry, but my need is greater than you know. Justice will be done. Wait, don't shoot! Mr. Morris! Poor man. I hope he finds some kind of peace. Now to destroy the crates! No one is getting their hands on this hellfire!
is not here. <laughs> back. Mr. Morris, I see. I was afraid it would come to this. He was a good man, but even the best of us can lose our way when blinded by grief. Still, I thank you for preventing a greater tragedy. I'm so relieved to have found you. I fear my upcoming meeting is going to be disrupted. Strike breakers, maybe, or police spies. There, Ruffians girl. who fear the march of progress. Fear not, Mr. Marx. I'll look after you. I worry that any I agitation you, will incite terrible violence. So please remove troublemakers without attracting any attention. Wunderbar. Thank you. I must prepare, but I will see you inside shortly.
it has become a truth that no perfecting of machinery, no application of science to industry, no improvement of the means of communication, no new colonies, no emigration, no opening out of new markets, no free trade, and not all these things put together. So 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 just walk. Rather, on the contrary, but upon the present false basis, every new development of the productive power of labor must lead to the widening of the gulf between the classes and to the heightening of social antagonisms. During this in the annals of world history this age will be characterized by the more impetuous course the more expanded the range and the deadlier effects of the social plague known as the commercial and industrial crisis i believe that it is not necessary that the means of labor should be monopolized as a means of dominating the workers and curious i wonder what that's about Something's going on. What's this all about? Looks like trouble. Oh. It's a coordinate social form which is destined to vanish before associated labor, which will accomplish its work with willing hands, vigorous mind, and cheerful heart. <laughs> the House of Commons is a house of landlords. I put it to you today that to capture political power is now the great duty of the working class. We must attempt the political reorganization of the workers if we are to improve some sort of scaffolding. Screen happens to be your last. With the simultaneous demand that the simple laws of justice, what's happening over there? Right in the relations of private persons, shall be recognized as the supreme law governing labor in this country. The struggle for such a policy is embraced in the universal struggle for the emancipation. A great service for the workers of London. I'm confident the reforms we seek cannot be far over the mm. horizon. I don't suppose you'd formally join the Workers' Party. Mm. I'm not much for politics. <laughs> He's not much for anything that requires deep thought. Does that mean you'll join, Comrade Evie? I'm afraid I have other responsibilities. Honorary memberships, perhaps. You don't give up, do you? We seem to have that in common. Auf Wiedersehen, my friends. <laughs> 